Welcome to the Tiffany Micah podcast. What we do here is build the strength and courage in you to accomplish your big dreams and goals in your sport. No longer will you feel limited. You won't feel you're not good enough. You won't question whether you will make it. Those doubts will disappear because you will have the competitive edge over your opponents and leave them in your wake. And the bonus is others will notice. Listen up and take notes because I will show you exactly how to do it. Hey there, Tiff here. Welcome to the Tiffany Micah podcast. Well, another episode, isn't it? You bet, of uh, Gain the Mental Edge. What we're doing here is we want to ensure that we've got you set up, uh, your foundation set up pretty much. So we want to make sure that you've actually identified what's been missing. You've identified what is required. You've identified then how in which you're going to put these belief systems in place because belief I guarantee you belief is everything if you do not believe you won't accomplish anything that you want in your life because you'll believe that it's not possible and what we need to ensure that we're doing is we believe we have to we have to believe in something in order for us to accomplish whatever it is that we want to accomplish okay that's how it works so what we're working on today is your circle of influence And what that actually is, is the people in which you want to have around you that's going to help you accomplish your goals and everything that you want in your life. Now, your circle of influence will change uh, from what it is today. So even me recording uh, these Uh, especially this specific video for you that I had recorded from the Get Focused Academy through your circle of influence has since changed since I actually recorded that. But that was where it was at that point in time. So I'm going to leave that there with you so that you will get an understanding of what it is. The circle of influence will, like I said, change over time. It will evolve over time because the people in which you want in your influence at this current time in your life it will change because you will grow and you will evolve so therefore you'll be looking for other things in which to help you okay now also this circle of influence doesn't mean that you have to hang out with them every single day like they have to be your best buddies this circle of influences these types of people that you admire that you model um, people in which you can learn from people in which you want to be like so that in order for you to be the athlete you want to become, the person you want to become. You are listening to specific things in which they teach, watch videos that they record, read books that they write, whatever it is, that's how you're going to be creating your circle of influence. So, time that we get into it, isn't it? So as you're well aware, this has come from the Get Focused Academy and this is the audio part of that video. Uh, so if you then go to the tiffany-mica.com, that's my website, to this specific specific episode, you'll also see the video so that you can actually download the worksheet for free. Okay. Now, if in the future when you listen to these episodes and they are no longer free, Um, I apologize for that but at this moment in time of me recording these videos and these um, specific audios for the podcast show they are for free so let's get into it let's start creating your circle of influence a dream big believe in you go after your dreams So I want, to, I want to talk to you about this quickly. I'm going to get you to do something about this very shortly. The influences around us. And we are influenced by the people that we surround ourselves with. And there's a saying, now Tony Robbins actually says it quite a lot. His mentor, Jim Rohn, which was really the grandfather of, one of the grandfathers of personal development, um, 
and he would always say you are the average of the five people that you hang around with so if we think about that what what does that mean well if you surround yourself with negative people what do you think is going to happen how are you going to think if you surround yourself with negative people how are you going to think you're going to think negatively aren't you everything's going to be more negative because it's the influences around you okay so if you're surrounded by negative people you are going to have negative uh, thoughts about about things doesn't say it doesn't mean that you're going to be like that for your whole life absolutely not what we're going to be doing here is creating awareness for you because I know the people that I used to mix with in my past were negative I thought negatively about me all the information that was all the messaging that I had for me was negative all the people that I mixed with were giving me negative messages right so I believed that that was my truth at the time I didn't want to feel that way but that was what was happening until I discovered how you could actually change that so what happens then if you surround yourself with positive people how are you going to think I know you're going to say yeah Tiff you know I would think positively well absolutely of course you're going to be more positive because you're going to have much more positive influences around you you're going to be motivated to want to do better it's 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 the way in which we want to make that difference so we're feeding our minds full of positive messages that's what we want to be able to do here and if you keep feeding your mind full of positive messages you're going to have much better chance of getting those positive results like what we just talked about before which is those positive beliefs leads to positive feelings leads to positive actions leads to positive results that's what we're looking for because then our results are going to be so much better now I've been in that space you could say oh yeah Tiff you know well you know I don't have to think that way yeah you do because I've been in that negative space I was in that negative space for for half my life feeling that way until I discovered that hey you know what you can think differently hey you can put different thoughts in your head hey but work in progress doesn't happen automatically you've got to train it like you do in your sport that's how we that's how we do that but we can we can make that happen right so I want you to be aware of also the influences that are around you right so I always want you to be aware do you have positive influences or do you have negative influences so what we're doing here is we're creating that awareness for you okay so so important that that awareness is there so I'll have a worksheet set up for you below this video because there'll be two worksheets set up for you below this video but what you're going to be doing is you're going to create your circle of influence so it's so important that you are aware of the people that you mix with now you don't have to go and find um, people to to hang out with it, it does I don't mean that kind of circle you can actually create it online as well I've I've create mine through um, a vid, video listen to watch videos uh, listen to podcast episodes be part of certain programs read books all of that kind of thing from specific people so that my circle of influence is is um, so much better than the, the current influence that I have in my you know circle of people that I have in my life to when I'm actually recording this uh, video the, my circle of influence is not that big I, I'm tending to I have a very small circle of people that I currently mix with face to face simply because I haven't found my specific circle yet on a face to face level but I have found my circle of influence online so uh, I just want to make you aware that it doesn't have to be people that you um, 
you know link arms with and your buddies with it can be uh, people that you follow that are going to help you accomplish what you want to accomplish and that's what I consider the circle of influence in which I want to mix myself with and I believe that that's what you should should be doing too because it's changed everything since I started down that path of creating my circles of influence over the years that and the other thing too is your circle of influence does change over time because certain people will get to you to a certain point and then you'll be you'll have grown beyond them and then you'll be looking for for new influences in your life and that's all good that 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 means that you're growing so my influences have changed over the years and and so will yours i just want to make you aware of that so what we're going to be doing here, we're going to be doing two things, but this is the first one that we're going to be doing is we're going to work on your circle of influence. Who is in your circle of influence? I want you to identify those people. You can have as many people as you like. I have more than five in my circle of influence. I'll share it with you when we go through the worksheet. Um, we are going to then um, identify why they'll be part of your circle of influence. Why are you going to put them in that? And then what will they help you accomplish? Because I want you to be aware of you having these specific people in your life. Well, what are they? They're there for a reason and they're going to help you accomplish specific goals um, that you actually want or specific results that you want in your life. Okay, so I want you to be aware of that. And here in the mindset development area, this is part B, what I was talking about earlier, your circle of influence. And... I've given you my example. So we've got three steps in this specific one. And the reason that I want you to do that is because I want you to understand, okay, my circle of influence, yep, this is what I've got to, uh, these are the people that are part of my circle of influence. This is why they're part of my circle of influence. And this is what I'm going to accomplish by them being part of my circle of influence. So I've given you an example of some people that are part of my circle of influence, Daniel Priestley, Tony Robbins, Brenda Bouchard, Warren Buffett, Barefoot Investor, Scott Pape and Mike Camp, Dr. Stephen Gundry, Napoleon Hill. So specific things like Daniel Priestley is all from a business point of view, systems and assets and so on. That's why why I'm part of him, Tony Robbins, all around belief and strategy, Brendan Bouchard, building a a um, successful business. Brendan does that with um, many entrepreneurs. He's, he's done that. He does that with Tony Robbins even. Warren Buffett, well, he's the guru of investing. So I follow him. Barefoot investor out here in Australia, we've got a guy that teaches you how to manage your money and what you can do with your money. I will run something along that and I'm, I'm going to show you how that when you um, are working to put towards becoming the athlete that you want to become and also when you're you know, making the money that you want to be making, how you can actually manage your money so much better in a very simple way. So that's what I've learned from the Barefoot Investor, Scott Pape and Mike Kemp. Mike Kemp is um, investing and they give you strategies on investing. Dr. Steve, Stephen Gundry, I like his process in the way he offers operates with around how to look after your body from a from a nutritional point of view so that's why I um, uh, listen to him a lot and uh, have buy some of his products and uh, use some of the the strategies that he's uh, that he suggests because I like that Napoleon Hill well Napoleon Hill's really the the uh, the, the man that changed my life in the sense of reading his books and uh, un- having that understanding of, oh, wow, I can put those positive messages in my head and, and change the way I think. And that was, he was really the the first person in my life that actually started that process when I, when I started to read his uh, book, especially Think and Grow Rich. So those are the why I have those people there. So then we answer, why will they be part of the circle of influence? Well, here's my example. <coughs> They're part of my circle of influence because they have had more experience in building multi-billion dollar businesses. They will help me learn about how to build my empire and grow me into the person I want to become. They'll educate me on how to grow and scale my business and teach me how to invest and grow my money wisely. That's why I choose them. So why, when you do this exercise, I want you to write down why they will be part of your circle of influence. What are they going to uh, help you learn? And then in step three, what are they going to help you accomplish, right? So you've chosen who's going to be part of your circle of influence. 
why they're going to be part of your circle of influence, so what they're going to teach you, and then what will they help you accomplish. So my circle of influence will give me the skills I require to turn my business into a multi-billion dollar empire. They'll give me the skills to be a world-class leader, coach, and strategist. They'll give me the skills to have my money growing for me with wise and strategic investments. So that's, that's what I want to accomplish, right? So here, what I've done for you, these sheets so that you can fill it out, my circle of influence, who is in my circle of influence, and just below here you write down who who those people are. You can have as many as you like. You don't have to limit it to five, okay? Then when step two, why will they be part of your circle of influence? What are they going to teach you? What are you going to learn from them? And then we go down to step three, um, what will they help you accomplish? So it's really what are the results that you're going to get from them? So we want to dream big. We want to believe in ourselves and go after our dreams. We're putting positive messages in there. We're creating our code. We're having that that circle of influence of people that are going to be around us that are going to help us accomplish that. Okay? So get to work. Dream big. Believe in you. Go after your dreams. More than ever, we need hope. More than ever, we need to believe that everything is going to be okay. The world is a mirror of what you see. And if you don't like what you see, then it's time to change your world. The first step is to believe in you. Believe that you can be anything and believe that you can do anything. And that's why I've written the book Focus how to reach a potential in sport, business and life. It's to show you are worthy, that you can trust you and reach your potential. Get a free copy of Focus, how to reach a potential in sport, business and life. All you need to do is go to tiffanymica.com forward slash free book. All I ask is that you pay for the shipping and handling. I look forward to seeing you there. Dream big, believe in you. Go after dreams.